time we saw each other, I was helping you find your way to see Maureen O'Hara. It was me. It was you. It was you got her hair. A little, yes, yes. Oh, that was a memorable afternoon that I had with Maureen. Uh, you know, we had tea together and I uh, adored her. She was very, very... I'd worked with her a, a couple of times, once in a movie and once in a, in a TV show in New York when I was about 18. And, yeah. On the carpet, yes, and then you were lost upstairs, and I walked you over. And TCM was so happy they let me they let me into screen, and I'm the one who was coughing. That Maureen said to stand up so God can bless you. <laughs> she was wonderful. Karen. I am so happy to see you and Max back here again. I am thrilled that you're now doing some programming. Yes, yes, me TCM. too. Yes, absolutely. It's a, it's a joy. It's a dream for me to introduce. A British classic movies. I mean, oh my goodness! I, you know. I, I, I just I, and I, last night was the first three that I introduced, and I was so proud of the films I'd chosen because I, I watched them. We all watched them. The family. We had margaritas and guacamole, and we sat there for the whole evening. And I thought, yeah, these are great movies. Did all they three give you of them. Carte blanche to pick what you yeah. wanted. Yeah. Yeah, I picked what I wanted, and I've got three more coming up next Tuesday. I know. I I was I'm so excited. Then they have the little teaser of you. The one is you had me laughing, talking about what you eat for snacks in the movie theater <laughs> in Britain. Oh yes, Julia. It, it you just never you dazzle me every time. Oh, I'm sweet to you. You know. So, what are you looking forward to at this festival this year? Well, I'm looking forward very much to seeing E.T. And um, I'm going to be uh, escorting my dear friend Evie Brickus, who made a film called The Last of Sheila, uh, on Saturday. And uh, she, she said, well, I'm dead before the credits. And I said, well, you're the only one left, so come so, on. You're still alive. <laughs> you know? Oh, my God. You know what? Over the past few years with COVID and lockdown and being separated from everybody, what has TCM meant to you? En entertainment and, and uh, reminiscing and seeing family, seeing old friends, seeing actors I knew and grew up with. Vivian Lee was my godmother, Noel Coward was my godfather. So I, I, I know so many of those people as uh, new, um, sadly, they're past. But uh, so for me, I, I always switch on think, I might see Daddy, I might see Vivian, I might, and you know, and then the films. The films are endlessly enjoyable and magical. Those black and white movies, those classical movies, you never get tired of watching no. them. And isn't it beautiful watching the black and white and the care and precision that went into that cinematography? Yes. What they do with shadow. Yeah. It's yeah. just stunning. Contrast and oh. oh now, yeah. how many of Daddy's movies are we going to see you introduce at TCM? Well, actually only four, because I tried to not always choose his movies. But looking through British classic movies, he pops up all the time. Yes. <laughs> he does. So I couldn't avoid him. I said to them, listen, I don't want this to seem nepotistic. And I could try and pick other one. They went, no, no, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, God. Well, are you going to get lost anywhere that I'm going to have to escort you to this year? <laughs> I've got my husband with me today. So yes, I, I know he'll keep me. He'll keep me in the right place. I, I have no sense of direction, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Juliet, so Thank good you. to see you good again, see you and I hope we get to do this again next year. I hope so. Thank you. Have fun. Have fun.